Hi everyone! Welcome to your weekly edition of Show Me How It's Done. My name is Laura Nervonis and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Today I have a interactive fun card for you. It is a um, slider card which is adorable. I would love to give thanks to the inspiration where I got this slider theme from, and that was back at our conference in uh, 2023 from Michaela Titridge. She did a card featuring the Attention Shoppers Bundle to show us, and I absolutely loved the thought of the little image sliding across the screen I really wanted to do this with the Lily Pond Lane Ducks or the, of course, Adventurous Sky Airplane. So that's what we're going to do today. But of course, you can recreate this card with any bundle that you have at home. Perhaps you have something that you are thinking of in your head, like butterflies or um, flowers, or even if you have one of those other bundles that I mentioned too. It's going to be a really great card to get that wow factor out. And I'd like to show you how to make this card. All the measurements are listed in the description. So if you get lost at any point, just hit that pause button. There's going to be a few things that I have pre-prepped already, and that's just for the sake of the video going a little bit smoother for you. But please feel free to hit that pause button at any point and just catch up. It's not meant to stress you out by me going a little quicker than you are. Okay, so before we start, I just want to highlight where I got the products for this card. It's in our 2024 to 2025 annual catalog on page 36 and 37. This is where you can find the Take to the Sky suite. I'm primarily using the Adventurous Sky bundle here, but of course that paper, that beautiful, beautiful Take to the Sky paper, is going to be a highlight of this card as well. Now I did feature this card and some others using the suite at a specialty class in July. And just a reminder that if you go to my Lauren Scrapplot Facebook page and see an event, I can ship kits out to any of those events across Canada. So if there's one that interests you, then maybe you'd like to drop me a line and we can get you set up that goes for monthly clubs, that goes for specialty classes, and you can follow along with a video very similar to this one. Now I'm gonna show you a few of the cards that we did at that class. I do have a couple kits left here, so if you are interested, the cost for that class was $60. It includes the Adventurous Sky Stamp, but if you own that stamp already, you just sub out for something of equal or lesser value. And of course, shipping would be on top of that. So it'd be about $6 shipping. But here is one of the other cards. It's a nice fun fold card that you can fold up this way. I used the scraps from today's card, the leftover sky pieces to finish this one off. This was a pocket card that is actually from one of my Show Me How It's Done videos. So again, that huge archive is there for you on my Lauren Scraplot YouTube channel. There's almost 200 videos now. This is one that's available for you to check out. Here's another cute card using some of these tags here that you see in this piece. So there's six different tags and you can chop them up. I know it's very small, but it's still cute. Playing with a little bit of water coloring on my airplane here. And then here's one more from the class. Nice Z fold, fun fold. So I didn't do this card per se as one of my Show Me How It's Done videos, but there is a card that does a Z fold, so you could easily make more of these too. Here we go. On to probably my favorite card from the event. One last fly across the sky can put you back. Okay, to follow along, you're going to need a card base. I am using Boho Blue. And sorry, I do need to move this out of my way fully for a minute here. So Boho Blue, we're going to make this one six and three quarters by seven and three quarters. And then we need to do a little bit of scoring on there. So, sorry, I am scoring this way. So the first score mark is going to be at three and one quarter. 
six and a half. You could easily do it at one quarter and then whatever this measurement is, but I just find it so tricky to get that one quarter when it's right along the edge. So we're gonna just switch it up and do our score lines at three and one quarter and six and a half. And again, just a reminder, all those measurements are in the description. So you can grab them from there before we even get really busy if you want. I'm going to get you to cut a couple other pieces of paper while we're at it. And that is going to include a piece of white paper. That's going to be three inches by seven and one quarter. And then I need a piece of designer series paper. Ignore the score, the cut line for now. This, oh, sorry. There we go, that's better. It's very hot and dry right now. This is also three inches by seven and one quarter. We're going to do this cut line together, so just ignore that for the moment. I was just practicing to make sure I remembered exactly where it went. So these three pieces should be cut in advance. And then while you're cutting, you might as well just cut a little mechanism piece too. This is going to be two and one quarter by three quarters of an inch. Keep this one. It's going to be what we use to fly our plane across the card. So three quarters of an inch by two and one quarter. Let's get going. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to glue your piece of designer series paper to the front of this blue card. Now, please don't use dimensionals at this point. We do need this nice and flat and don't put, um, well, I guess you can um, put adhesive in the middle section, but it might make the card a little trickier. So let's just go around the perimeter of the card for now, the entire perimeter, and make sure you've got your nice cloud scene on the front. There we go. Now, it's not going to make or break your card which section you add it to, but just for my sake, because I kind of like things nice and clean, I'm going to add it to the section that has the little quarter inch piece below it. So I've laid this out on my desk. I've got large section, large section, small skinny section. That's going to make my card just the cleanest it can be. Sorry, I need to take off all of my adhesive. Oh. Okay, so we're gluing this onto the front of our card in the middle of this section here. So section number two. There we go. So that should leave us with one large section and the skinny little strip. Now for your bone folder, we're going to fold this guy in and then we're going to fold this one now underneath as well. And we'll want to make sure it's got a nice crisp line like so. Okay, now do not do any gluing yet. I know it's tempting, but we need to cut a track. For your airplane to fly along and so i've done that already just on the designer ser series paper because i wanted you to be able to see the visual um, but we're going to do this all in one shot using your trimmer okay so we're going to line up this score line here to the one inch on the right hand side of your trimmer okay so that one inch mark right there is where you want the score line to be. Then, don't put your blade in yet, we're going to be cutting between one inch and six and a half. So we need to lift our blade up. I actually like to just plunk my blade down in the middle. Then I don't need to be exact in where I start. I just plunk it in the middle and I'm going to cut up and it will be tricky because you're cutting through two pieces of paper up to one inch. There's my one inch and it's lined up with the little 
um, sidebar on my trimmer blade, and then I'm coming down to six and a half and stopping. Okay, again, six and a half lined up to that little tick. And don't worry if you've gone like a millimeter or two beyond that, it's okay. Um, but just roughly, we want to track between one and six and a half. And just make sure to go back and forth, maybe once or twice to ensure you've cut through those papers. And you can see I haven't quite, so I'm just gonna come back. I'm just gonna try again. It's kind of tricky sometimes. That's okay, come back. need to press a little harder. There we go. Now if I press harder, I can feel that I've punched through. There we go. That's what you're looking for, that break that you can see from both sides here. Okay? Now, bef and don't worry about this. That was my mistake. You won't hit that. I designed this card a while ago and then had to remember how I made it. <laughs> okay. So we're going to set this aside for the moment because we need to do a little bit of stamping onto this piece that goes on the inside before it actually gets attached. It's just the easiest way because then if you've made a mistake, you can replace the, the piece of paper and you don't have to stress about it. So we're going to move that out of our way. And we're going to come in here with some stamps and do a little bit of ink. So the ink colors that you will need are boho blue. That's going to be for our clouds here. And you'll go ahead and cut out some large clouds using the stamp and dies. Have those right here. So adventurous sky, I cut out the large cloud and the medium cloud by stamping with boho blue onto boho blue paper and then cutting out with the dies. I've also gone ahead and cut myself out all the pieces that I need for my airplane. And I'm going to do a little bit of stamping though with this accent piece here that is going to use Cajun Craze. So that is another ink you're going to want to grab right now before we start. And then last but not least, we're adding a little bit of sentiment and airplane um, additions with Knight of Navy. So it doesn't matter where you start. I'm going to start with my airplane because that gives my airplane a chance to dry. Once I've stamped it, I'm going to glue all the pieces together, set it aside and work on the rest of this. Okay. So I've got this nice airplane that I've cut out of Cajun Craze paper. Then I'm going to come over here with the Cajun Craze ink and use this weird looking background stamp to add a little bit of detail. So you do not have to be perfect with this. You're kind of just adding a little bit of messy stamping across the airplane and it will, it'll blend in once you start adding the other details. That's the only thing you need Cajun Craze for. So you can go ahead and close it. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and glue my pieces for this together so that I don't lose them. So I've cut out from silver foil, beautiful overlay for my airplane. And we're just putting glue on the front part, on the wheels, just little bits, and then a little bit on this bottom wing here. Don't worry about putting anything on the top wing because that actually doesn't connect to the airplane at all. So I'm gonna line this up. Thing about glue that's nice is you have an opportunity to move it if you've made a mistake. And that looks pretty good. Now one last feature is going to be a little propeller blade. So whoop, it is hot in here. My glue is exploding. Hold on. I need a scrap paper. Very, very hot. We're just going to put one dot right on the tip of the airplane's nose and then that oh, come on focus please there you are um that's going to be all you need to attach this little blade okay 
And like I said, we're going to set this aside and just let it dry. Human, there you go. We'll be ready for it in a little bit. Now, onto our white piece here. Okay, so if you've got another scrap, that's probably the best thing to stamp on. We're not going to have all the clouds onto this, the image. I'm going to start with my Knight of Navy, and that's going to be my sentiment and my little airplane. So I've got a sentiment saying flying by to say hi. I'm putting down here in the bottom, bottom right. And then I've got a little airplane that I want to put up in the top right. He looks cute. And I'm happy with that. Now the clouds, they are boho blue to match our card base. And I'm going to stamp in full strength once right by my sentiment. And then instead of getting more ink, I'm actually just going to stamp off down below. So it's a really nice light cloud there. And it will also dry a little bit. So again, full strength right behind the airplane. And then once more, just right beside it. And that's all I'm doing. That's all the stamping I'm doing. You will, of course, have done these two clouds in addition to that stamping. This guy seems like he's going crooked. There. Okay. We're ready to start assembling um, in just a minute, but before we do that, I need you to cut out something else for me. And that is going to be a decal that your plane is going to ride on. So I decided to use the decaled circles dies here. Um, forget which one I used. It's either the second or the third largest. Um, I lost. There we go. There's my deckled circles dies. Let's check. Sorry, not the largest. The one, two, three, four. The fifth smallest. This is a huge set. Look at this. So it's this guy right here. Fifth smallest. That's the deckled circle. If you don't own those ones, no stress at all. You can just use any sort of circle that you have. If you have the um, stylish shapes dies, maybe the largest circle would work for you. I just thought this kind of like ruffled edge looked really cute. I didn't really need a stitched look. Um, but anything that kind of fits in a three inch space is good to go. All right, so you need to cut that out for me and then we are ready to go in addition to your clouds and your airplane, of course. Okay, I'm gonna suggest you use some double-sided tape to put this card together because the easiest thing to do is to have that tape on the card but not have taken the backings off yet so that we're ready to go as soon as all of the pieces are lined up, okay? so onto your card here we need a piece of double-sided tape along this little strip here it will just fit the fat tape like so and then on the inside of your card we're going to make our card fly towards the right hand side. So on the left hand side here, this is where I would like you to put tape. One strip right along the edge from top to bottom. Okay. Now, if you have a circle punch, any size really will do. We're going to make a little punch here we, again before we get started. This guy gives you something to grab onto. So I've got the one and a half inch. This is in our online exclusives. And we're cutting through both layers. So I've kind of folded my card up, but of course I have not taken my adhesives off anywhere. Folded the card up and I'm just cutting halfway in. And you're cutting through three pieces of paper, the designer series paper and two cardstocks. 
so it might be a little hard. You might have to use some muscles. Go. But that's what you want for the moment, okay? Now we're ready to start attaching pieces. So, here we go. We're going to get this guy lined up. It's going to just rest in this middle space. Try and center it so that you've got kind of an even border in this middle section. Don't worry about lining it up over this tape. Keep the border even after you've got the tape. So a little border, little border, little border. This is where we want it to sit at the moment, okay? And then you're going to take that funny little white piece that I mentioned you're going to need and put some dimensionals on it. Now, if you have um, large dimensionals, you'll probably only be able to put one of them in there. But for me, I'm just gonna use some of my edge pieces so that I'm giving myself a nice big chunk. One of them's going on the back, on the bottom of that white piece. And then the other one's going to go the opposite side. So in fact, what you can do is just, you've put one on the bottom, we're going to turn it over completely and put it on the bottom again. So that in essence, they're just on opposite sides of each other. Back side top, front side bottom, but even when you switch, they're the same thing. Okay, I just don't want to lose anyone, so I'm going very slow at this point. Okay, so when you're ready, you're just, you're not attaching this in place at all. Remember that, it's just kind of being held by your fingers. And we're going to close this up for just a second. So I'd like you to tuck your little piece through the hole. And you should have your little dimensional kind of facing the bottom here. Now, this is where you're going to decide where your plane starts, okay? So if I have this way over here, my plane is only ever going to start here and come outwards. So I want to start all the way down here with my airplane. I'm happy with that. It's kind of in a spot that I am comfortable with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put my finger on to hold the white piece in place from the back. And I'm going to put my decal on top now. So the decal will be attached to this tag. Can't move it anymore. I'm happy with that. Okay, that's where my decal is going to start. That's where my airplane is going to start. You have to open this up and just squeeze these two together so that you can take off the backing now for your layer. Okay, so again, just make sure this is lined up exactly where you need it to be. Nice and centered. Yes. Keeping that squeeze on. And then we're going to put this down in place. So at this point, you have a very flimsy piece of white that's attached and a circle decal. But if we were to pull it, it moves. That's exactly what you want. And now we can start closing up the rest of your card, okay? So we're going to start with this edge piece here. We're gonna make sure that that white is out of the way. We don't want it getting touched by adhesive in any way. We're going to take that white off here. And then we're also going to fold this piece to the back here. And we're gonna put this down in one shot. So I like to just connect those corners. That's gonna help me keep these, uh, this in place. And this flap is going over top of my white at the moment, okay? We're not, we want to make sure it's over, nothing's tucked under. I'm gonna take off that backing. 
Now when I close this card up, my sides are going to connect and this bottom piece is going to connect to the sticky part of this flap that's folded underneath, okay? So this is the perfect time for you to just confirm that at this moment, your white piece is not touching anything. If you're super worried, I would even say just, just move it to the edge of your workspace, okay? It's easy to move around um, once this card is built, but get it away from this sticky section. You don't want anything touching that. I'm gonna turn this so it's facing me, and I'm going to start by connecting my base right across the bottom, nice and flat, all the way through to that back section. And that's just so that your paper's not gonna end up flying out the other side, really, okay? There we go. So this part is connected, can't get in here anymore. My bottom is connected, can't open up anymore. So what I have is a card that just slides in and out, but it's really tricky to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build myself a tag on the end that's kind of a pull string. So remember that one and a half inch circle punch that I had earlier? I cut myself a Knight of Navy circle, and then I just grabbed some of our beautiful copper clay ribbon, and I'm going to make a very quick and easy tag with that. So this guy, you don't need your scoreboard, just fold it in half. It's gonna be very easy, and you need a stapler. So if you have the old Stampin' Up! mini stapler, that's great. If not, don't stress. So I've put one of each of the halves around my white piece, and you'll notice this isn't cut nicely at the moment, but I'm just going to gently put it on here, kind of in a fun ribbon way. Then, where did my stapler go? There you are, you see it. You're going to come in with a stapler, doesn't matter if it's a nice mini one, it can be a regular size, and you're going to staple that ribbon onto the pull string, like this, okay? Now, that staple really sticks out and it kind of looks ugly. So if you have the dark copper clay blends marker, what you can do is you can just come in here and color over top of that staple and it truly does blend now into the ribbon and you can barely tell that those staples are there. You can still tell when you're close, but it just makes it look a lot nicer. When you're happy with that being set, you're gonna come in here with some nice scissors and trim down that ribbon. You don't need it super long. There we go. We're almost done, we're doing good, okay? So now what I have is something that I can easily pull and move and it's ready to go. You do kind of adjust it back into place as you go, but we have one more step and that is to build our adorable deckle. So remember that plane that should be drying now? We're going to grab him and we're going to pop some dimensionals onto the back. Make sure you've got dimensionals just in the middle part of the plane body because the, the nose of the plane kind of comes off that decal, so does the tail of the plane. So just put decals in this middle section. That's all you need. Two large ones, three little ones. And he's going on at a cute little angle. Make sure it's not falling off the card. And then you can come in with your clouds and add a few details. So with my clouds, I decided just to put the dimensionals right on the blue here. Then I'm sure they're not going to come off the decal and land on the card. 
So I'm just putting two down below for the large cloud and one up in the top for the small cloud. All right, large cloud down below, right there, and small cloud up there. And there you go. I'm not going to say it was easy because it was a lot of steps, but it does look really cute and I think it's worth the work. So once you get comfortable with it, it's not so challenging. Maybe make a couple of these at once so that you're not starting from scratch both times. Just play with what you have, enjoy it. And if you do need any supplies, then please feel free to reach out. Um, my website is at the bottom, lauranerbonus.stampinup.net. And you can ship anywhere in Canada for those goodies. If you missed a direction somewhere and you need clarified information, please message me. Or if you just have a friendly comment or want to say hi, I love hearing from you. Every comment, every like is just so, um, so nice to see and it's just kind of warms my heart. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you have fun playing with this suite and recreating this card for yourselves. I will see you guys next Tuesday at noon for another Show Me How It's Done edition. Bye!